It is time for the manager's show. Dave Peck alongside Coach Mike Coombs. Coach, as always, how are we doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I'm on bus ride? Yeah, how's your neck? Uh, it's a little jacked up. So you were sporting, actually, the pillow that wraps around. Is that better than just a standard pillow? No, I don't know how to. You know, my wife got it for me. She said, use this. And I go, all right, I'll try it. But I, it was, I don't know. But I have no, my neck's fine. So when you're at home, do you use a, a water pillow, Tempur-Pedic, you know? I, I, yeah, every once in a while, my temper gets the best of me. And I go, I throw the pillow away or whatever. But Tempur-Pedics or whatever or you know. Just a pillow. Just give me a pillow. So it was a, a long day yesterday, 14-9 to nine loss. What can you take away from that? You know, 11 hits, nine runs scored, just things didn't really go the way of the goals. Well, there's. I told the boys there's a bumper sticker that my old Skip used to have on his car, and it says, stuff happens, but it doesn't say stuff. And that's what happened last night. Stuff happened. You know the origination of that of that bumper sticker. You know the movie where that's uh, originated from. Forrest Gump. No, Actually, no. yeah, they have the the bumper sticker. Yeah. You know, stuff yeah. happens. If anything happened that could happen that did happen, it happened. I and it was it was it wasn't it wasn't pretty. Honestly, I I, c I couldn't agree with you more. It was, ugly. Yeah. it was ugly. Well, how about Dalton Reed? 4.35 batting average. He's leading the team. He also has three home runs. He's leading. The NECBL, he's tied with Hosey and Austin, but what have you seen from him? Um, he, he likes to have a head-on wreck with the ball. Sees the ball, he's a big bopper, and he's bopping, and I love it. And he's, he's a good kid, and I we got him in the right hole, and he's, he's just swinging it, and hopefully he can swing it like that all summer. Seventh game in the seventh night here for the Gulls. Not totally uncharacteristic here in the NECBL, but does that affect your lineup at all? No, um, we got a new guy in, Stevie Mangrum, out of Virginia Tech, and I'm going to put him in right field, move the lineup a little bit, uh, move Plu back to second, and put Harvey, our retired second baseman. <laughs> it, was, it was so funny because I explained to the kids after the game, I want to thank the kids that played out of position, and I played him out of position, but he told me he could do it. So after the game, we talked about it. I said, thank you. And then I said, you guys got anything? And Harvey goes, yeah, I just want everybody to know that I'm, I'm a retired second baseman <laughs> now. He so made a nice grab. He did, on a line yeah. drive, he made a nice play. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens here tonight. Yeah, so we got um, Plu at second. And we're going to bring Cole from right field in, to, and he played shortstop in high school. So we'll see, see what he can do there. We'll see what happens. It's the... Plymouth Pilgrims and the Newport Gulls. For Mike Coombs, I'm Dave Peck. Don't go anywhere. The Pilgrims and the Gulls are up next right here on the NECBL Broadcast Network.